Hey, so here's my um, video. I've um, bumped it up to 10 times speed. Um, once again, to just keep layering um, the browns on her, on her face, um, doing the lips. Um, this video is um, about 10 minutes long if you want to just fast forward through it. Um, but I'm working on her face as well as her lips and her, and her eyes. So, um, hope you enjoy it. Leave some comments if you have any questions or anything. Um, until I post my next video. Um, hopefully um, tomorrow, which will be January 4th, I will have more of her eyes done, her eyelashes, and working um, on her eyebrows um, as well as um, continuing to darken her skin. Make some minor corrections here and there, but otherwise um, just a uh, constant state of um, layering and correcting. I was having a lot of problems with my um, color pencil. Um, I'm using what they call Prisma colors, and you, whenever I sharpen the pencil, it just kept breaking. You know, when I sharpen it, it'll be pointy, which I need those points a lot. And then when I come over to the paper, I'm not applying any pressure. Right when I just set it down, it, it breaks. I'm sure it's already broken inside of the the wood shaft. And so every once in a while you'll get pencils like that. It could have happened in shipping. You know, some of them age quicker than others or whatever. And so every time you sharpen it, you break it and you end up with a nub instead of a long pencil, which feels better in your hand than just a little nub. So um, what I'm going to have to do is order some more brown color pencils because I'm going through the two that I have pretty quick because they won't sharpen right. And the sharpener that I have is a very good sharpener, so I know it's not the sharpener. For some reason, the, the light seemed to change intensity. Um, so I'm hoping you guys can see that okay. Looks like what I need to do is to raise the tripod up a little bit higher. So um, we won't get so much um, washed out from the light. Here I'm working on the forehead.
So here I've um, went back in, messed with the lips a little bit more. There's so much going on there, so many wrinkles and highlights. Um, trying to take it in at once kind of can drive me crazy, so I tend to work on other parts and come back to it, to the lips. What I'm doing today is actually um, working from the side instead of from the from the front of the drawing. Sometimes it just feels better to take a different perspective. Here I'm putting the lines in above, uh, above the eyes. I'm going to have to go back and erase one of those because it's not really looking that right to me. They're not, and they're not even, you know, like I said, the, the human body isn't perfectly symmetrical so you might have a thicker or eyelid that folds differently on the left than the eyelid that folds right uh, when your eyes are open it, it happens so um, that's what makes a piece so real is having those imperfections um, and capturing them so on the left eye, I have to go back in and put that, that fold line in a little bit differently. I'm not liking it. Luckily, I haven't pressed hard, so it shouldn't be an issue. And so I've started going into the eye some more. I'm using um, a medium gray for the white areas of the eye, as well as some uh, yellow and blue. Um, I like to throw some stuff up in there like I keep telling you guys. Drawing a little bit of a line around the pupil. Um, if you really look deep into the eyes, you'll see that in, in some cases, depending on the lighting, there is an area of, around the pupil that lightens before the pupil itself. Um, and some people are more evident than others. Here, I don't want to get more of a, I just don't want to draw these huge black or brown bulbs with black dots in the middle of them. So I'm trying to make it as realistic as possible. So you can see the difference there with the left and the right eye. You can see the detail that's going into it. And I'll finish the, the bottom highlights once I get the um, bottom of the eyelids drawn in and the eyelashes and everything else. So the eyes are really starting to get a lot of depth. Um, I'm, I'm hoping everybody can see that the corners are really starting to pop because I've, I've darkened them because uh, those eyes are, there's shadows in there from the eyelids. And so you really want to make the eyelids pop and not just be these two huge white saucers. See that part right there? 